Good morning and welcome. Happy Sunday to you all. Are you guys ready to receive more of the Word of God today? Let's get right to it. So let's think of a time when someone encouraged you. How did that make you feel? Today, let's look at how we can spur one another forward. So let's look at today's scripture is from today, Hebrews 10, 24 through 25. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Become a person of love that God made us to be. For God is love. Make a movement toward relationship. Who can you spur on today during this season to spread that love? Can you reflect onto this question? How can you encourage the people in your life today? Send a friend an encouraging note and list several things I appreciate about them. Point out a character trait I appreciate in someone. Notice one thing that someone is good at and encourage them to develop that ability. Comment down below of what your answer would be and explain. For me, I would choose C. Notice one thing that someone is good at and encourage them to develop that ability. I was telling my daughter that she was a really good dancer. She was all being down, saying that people are giving very bad comments about her, that she can't dance, that she was very ugly. I was really upset over those comments. I told Winter that they are very jealous because of her beautiful looks. I mean, literally, she is gorgeous whenever you meet her face to face. And she really does have a beautiful heart. And I told her that she can dance. And I kept on encouraging her and encouraging her to keep on dancing and to stay beautiful every single day. Because that's what she is. She is so beautiful. So let's check out our devotional for today. So how often do we need encouragement anyway? Is a yearly pat on the back from our employer good enough? Do our families need to hear kind words from us weekly? How needy are we really? Turns out we humans are pretty needy. We need food daily. We need sleep daily. Our hearts need encouragement daily too. There is immeasurable benefit to having others in your life who give you courage to keep going and hope and to hold tightly to your faith. If you're not part of a community of believers, today is a day to seek out godly friends who will encourage you daily. Thankfully, encouraging others is a great way to find that kind of community. How can, use, how can God use your words to encourage someone today? Who will it be? So try this just for practice. Encourage someone today. Send a text message. Make a phone call. Compliment a coworker. Write a note for someone. Or find another way to show encouragement to one another. So let's go ahead and pray together. Jesus, I am so grateful that you are coming back one day. As I await your return, please help me to make the most of my time here. Please help me to point the people in my life towards you. Allow my encouraging actions to motivate others to show love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below of what you think of today's verse, of what it means to you. Also, you can message me through Discord if you want to reach out to me as well. The link is down below in the description. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell for notifications to receive new videos from me. Do you have a version app, Bible app? You can friend me. Search up Mary Woodson as you are adding friends. I will accept your request. We can do Bible readings together and leave notes for each other. Also, go join with my daughter, Winter Woodson, on her YouTube channel. Subscribe to her channel as well. The more the merrier to be a part of her fans family. Her links for her YouTube and Discord are in the description below as well. So, encourage one another.